wake of September 11th, there's now a shortage of trained guard dogs in America. Government agencies and private companies especially want bomb-sniffing dogs to protect their people and property. And citizens are also lining up to buy dogs for their personal protection. Channel 8's Bill Brown reports. Everything's habitual with dogs. Positive and negative habits, just like people. They can end a life, or they can save one. Guard dogs. Out here, they train them to save lives, to protect the good people from the bad. This is International Canine, where owner Steve Blair trains German Shepherds. After weeks of intensive work, he says, they're the best dogs in the world. Super obedient, super protection, good with kids, good looking dogs. These last few months, they've been busier than ever, with calls coming in from everywhere. It's been big for a long time. It's been big as long as I can remember. After September 11th, it got bigger. In greatest demand right now, dogs that can sniff out bombs. The FAA plans to spend $8 million on 300 more dogs to patrol American airports by the end of next year. I have got calls from New York, people that want bomb dogs that will run 100 cars a day on ferries that are going back and forth. Also on the rise lately, a number of people who want a dog to guard their home and family. Willie Marks of Fort Worth has just met Trix, the shepherd he plans to buy. Already, they're starting to bond. If I'm not home, I mean, you have a burglar alarm system, but anybody can get by that, and they, you know, they can just come flying through the door. If they get through the door, at least you have the dog there to protect everybody. Blue is being trained for a local police force. They hide a package of marijuana, and then they turn him loose. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Dingo is being trained to find wads of cash. He's gonna be my partner. Actually, he's gonna be my sergeant. As puppies, the dogs are raised in Germany. All of the commands are given in German. Oh, I... Oh, Each customer makes out a personal wish list, spelling out just what they need in a dog. I don't know if I'm, you know, looking to, to, for a dog to kill someone, but definitely to do like what you just demonstrated there. Christine Kopeck has come a long way from her home on a Caribbean island to place her order. Good in stressful situations, um, like hurricanes for where I'm going to be. Um, if it has to be good on a boat, around water. Seats. In this class, the bad guy in protective gear hides. Blackie has to find him. Foot on. No problem. These animals are incredibly strong and fast as lightning. The dogs go for $5,000 to $20,000. The dog that won a competition in Europe recently sold for $350,000. They have to be tough enough to take down a 200-pound man, yet gentle enough to play with a toddler. Make sure you get my good side. I mean, he's, he's a great dog. Yeah, we'll really feel safe with him. Bill Brown, Channel 8 News, Weatherford. Specifying. You're on it. Hi, I'm Lisa Stewart. And we all know that dogs make great pets. But what you may not know is that a well-trained dog can save your life, especially when that dog is trained by Steve Blair. Steve runs K9 International. It's a facility dedicated to training dogs for personal protection. And personal security has never been more important than it is today. I mean, let's face it, crime is on the increase. That's why most homes have an alarm security system. I have one. But if there's a power outage, I'm unprotected. And when I travel, it may be protecting my home, but it's not protecting me. That's why some people choose to carry personal alarms in case they're attacked. But a personal alarm only alerts others to your situation. It can't defend or protect you against an armed attacker. Then there are attack repellents such as pepper spray and mace. They may temporarily disable an attacker, but in a struggle, they can easily be used against you. Then you're completely vulnerable. But with one of Steve Blair's dogs at your side, you not only have a loving companion, but total protection at all times for you and your family. Steve has turned Canine International into one of the country's leading centers for protection dogs. As well as offering fully trained canines, they also offer highly specialized and personal training for your present dog and a lifetime guarantee of your dog's performance. Crime is happening every day. It doesn't happen just to the rich and famous. And you know it happens a lot more in the bigger major cities. But it's starting to happen out in the country, too. I just feel so much safer. And I know I have so many friends that their husbands are travel a lot. They're gone. It's amazing the security they feel when their husband is gone. They have this dog that protects them. A young woman uh, living alone would feel much more secure with a, with a, with a, with a partner.
partner like this in the house. When I was a Dallas Capital cheerleader, I had a lot of experiences that concerned me about my safety. And I was over at Tanya's house one day, and Steve Blair was over there, and he was teaching her about you know, how to train her dog. And I was so intrigued with him and the way that he handled the dogs and how he taught her and even her children. I mean, he was teaching the children, this is what you do, this is what you don't do. And I was so impressed. And another reason I love Canine International and Steve Blair is because he caters to a small clientele. He wants to be more specialized. He has more specialized training. He trains the dog to your specifications. My business is set up for the personalization of my clients. They make a big list, anything in the world that they want in the dog. A typical list will be something like, uh, I have a family, I, carry, I have a business, I carry a lot of cash on me. Um, I need a dog that's good with my kids, good with my cats. As far as the best all-around dog, for kids, the German Shepherd is the most versatile dog that there is. This pod come from Germany for many years. And this is born in Germany. The bloodlines from many generations is uh, holding very good there. Many other countries try to make breedings, and for this, most people want to have the German Shepherd from Germany. There's a big difference between a dog that just barks and a dog that has the ability to stop an aggressive situation and neutralize it and at the same time be totally under control and not be an indiscriminate biter. It's very important for me that he gets along with the other animals that I have on my ranch. It's also very important that he is trustworthy around my children. If I am in my home and someone comes in that's my friend, is he going to jump this friend, you know? So Steve and I talked about all those things. I send this list to my partner in Germany. He starts selecting the dogs that are possible candidates for this client. Um, I go to Germany, we test dogs, we test dogs, we test dogs. I find the exact dog for my client. I fly to the client wherever they are. Uh, I deliver the dog. I stay with the client for a week. The first part of the week is spent on doing obedience, leash handling, uh, corrections, motivation, uh, basically everything that they need to know as far as the education of how to handle the dog, how to feed the dog, everything from A to Z. To take care of a, a, an international canine dog is no different than taking care of any other dog. I mean, you feed them, you make sure they have a wonderful place to stay at night. If, if you desire for them to stay in the kennel at night, I like mine right by my bed. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's sort of like good horses and bad horses, they eat the same amount of food, you know. I mean, uh, the difference is when you give this dog a meal, you're investing in this dog. When they feel comfortable, we start doing the protection. Um, the last part of the trip, I go over all kinds of simulations, any kind of security needs carjackings, kidnapping. 90% of the time when people get dogs, whether the person has the education to give to them or they're too lazy to give this to them, they don't get it. Basically, they get a dog and the person says, okay, this is what you see with the dog, pay me, see you later. And then they're gone, they never hear from him again. The guy leaves and then they have all kinds of problems with the dog. The personalized training and the personalized sales and also the education. Take away any of those things and you have a formula that's not going to work for a client. What's going to make um Steve the happiest is uh, when he puts a dog with the person and they just go so together. I'm so happy with my dog. This dog now is a big part of the family. The dog becomes a very important part of your life, especially when it comes to protecting your family. How important are my children? I mean, my children are the most important thing in the world to me. So to me, uh, the price of a dog is not that much when you think about your children's safety and your family's safety. This is the reason, one of the big reasons why I have an international canine dog. I'm John Perales, my dog Faro, and uh, he's the best. Good, now alert him again. Trace Armstrong, my dog's name is 
Buster. He's uh, a completely different dog now. He spent uh, about eight weeks with Steve, and before he really was uh, taking over the house, he would come in, uh, he'd be animated, uh, he'd want to jump on the furniture, want to jump on us. And after eight weeks, he really was uh, the perfect dog. He's well outside, uh, he's great inside the house. He knows where and when it's time to play and be crazy. And, and when he comes in the house, he's got excellent manners. He really has made him a great pet.